Today, some of the world's best-known entrepreneurs are living in Taipei, working on new ventures. Last Wednesday, Tech Minister Wu Zhenzhong invited them to set up shop at the Taiwan Tech Arena, a startup incubator established in 2018. The minister hopes they'll bring new ideas to the TTA startup ecosystem and strengthen the bridge between Taiwan and the world. We're currently at TTA, a co-working space in Taipei. There are currently over 200 startups that work here. In the past few years, exceptional entrepreneurs from overseas have been choosing Taiwan for their new ventures. Last Wednesday, the Ministry of Science and Technology gave 11 of them VIP membership cards to the Taiwan Tech Arena. So right now we have more than 10 uh, very famous entrepreneurs. Uh, they uh, come and also reside in TTA. Of course, for, for those entrepreneurs, they have many, many, uh, you know, uh, tra uh, uh, very ex excellent uh, trade records, you know. So I think this is a good opportunity for them uh, to bring their uh, experience, their experience of Silicon Valley to Taiwan and also connect to Taiwan and help our domestic entrepreneurs uh, to uh, link to Silicon Valley as well. The card grants a 50% discount on office rent and access to the incubator's resources. One entrepreneur who's already set up a base at TTA is Steve Chen, co-founder of YouTube. I think that it would be great to be able to create a company here in Taiwan that is you know, uh, invested in, by venture capitalists in Silicon Valley, uh, Series A, Series B rounds, and then potentially be collaborating with some of the uh, the companies like Facebook and Google in Silicon Valley. And Chen is working on a venture of his own that will use Taiwan as a test site before expanding to a global market. He and his Taiwan team plan to announce the project by the end of the year. He says Taiwan has a strong startup ecosystem with an exceptional talent pool. There are a lot of great things here in Taiwan that just doesn't exist in Silicon Valley. The engineers are very good, they're very creative, they have a lot of energy, and they work well together as a team. Another returnee is Jameson Xu, who sold his startup Mochi Media for a cool 80 million U.S. dollars in 2010. Xu is preparing to set up a fitness technology company at TTA. The fitness industry in Taiwan is uh, very interesting from the perspective that a lot of manufacturers are in Taiwan. Uh, the people working on technology for fitness are a lot of people are in Taiwan already. So uh, we think it's a great place to be to build a fitness tech company. There's also Guitar Hero co-developer Kai Huang and Chris Wang, the CEO and founder of the blockchain startup Thundercore. Both say that now is the time to invest in Taiwan companies or to start a business in Taiwan. There's more people coming back. There's more people doing startups. Um, there's more people investing. So it's actually the startup ecosystem has gotten quite exciting, I think. And what's even more exciting to me is over, I think over the next six to 12 months, with a lot of people um, coming from all over the world um, through the Gold Card program, I think that's going to create a really interesting mix of talent. So I think right now Taiwan actually has an advantage here because Taiwan is one of the few places where people could actually get together and work together. And I, want, I think the entrepreneurs should really use this opportunity to try to excel and try to compete globally. In total, 11 entrepreneurs of Taiwanese heritage were issued VIP membership cards last Wednesday. They include Race Capital partner Phil Chen and Warner Bros. Interactive Entertainment Executive Vice President Steve Chang. For most of the news, Stephanie Yang, Wang Yansen in Taipei.